ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு லேர்ன் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் இன் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் வி ஆர் கண்டினியூயிங் வித் அவர் வேவ் ஆப்டிக்ஸ் போர்ஷன் ஓகே இன் லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி லேர்ன் டெல் அபவுட் த கொஹரன் சோர்சஸ் அண்ட் இன் கொஹரன் சோர்சஸ் அண்ட் டுடே வி ஆர் ஸ்டார்டிங் வித் சூப்பர் பொசேஷன் பிரின்சிபல் ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் சூப்பர் பொசேஷன் பிரின்சிபல் so what is meant by this superposition principle see here if one two or more waves are there in a medium what will happen see if we are considering many lights together at a point what will happen it will everything will be mixing each other isn't it so in a layman point of view uh, that's a uh, way we will tell it as it will mix each other but as a physics students how we can explain that one if two or more waves are there in a medium it will be the resultant of all those waves will be the vector sum of all the displacement okay the resultant displacement will be the vector sum of all the displacement so superposition when the principle states that when two or more waves superpose each other or when it is coming together when it is coming together at any particular instant the resultant displacement will be the vector sum of all the individual displacements okay so if we have many waves y1 y2 etc y n many waves are there so we will be considering the resultant wave y as y1 plus y2 plus etc plus y n but we are considering the vector sum what is the meaning of vector sum we should consider the direction also that means here if i am taking a wave like this and another wave like this so what will be the resultant displacement resultant uh, wave the resultant wave will be the sum of these two so it will be a longer amplitude wave okay so if we are considering a wave in this way and another wave in this way if i am considering another wave in this way what will happen the resultant displacement this is y1 and this is y2 the resultant displacement will be less than the first one okay so because it will reduce it will reduce why it is reducing because this much is negative amplitude is negative and here it is positive so we should consider the positive values as such and negative values as such as such. so we can, we can say it is the vector sum of all the individual displacements okay clear so here in this super position principle we are going to in, introduce for the coherent sources of light okay what will happen in the case of a coherent source of light so i am considering a source of light when it is passing uh, it will be giving many wave front okay so a coherent source is here yes and it is giving many waves okay i am representing many waves like this so like this waves are forming here i am considering the crest of each wave crest means see higher amplitude waves crest of each wave in blue color and trough will be representing with the black line okay so this is the way of representation for the each wave each wave friend i am representing in this way okay so this is crest and the black one is trough so here this is the source of light and from that source of light i am considering two slits okay so here the source of light will be coming here crest and then another one trough then next crest and next one is trough and then next is crest like that it is moving so when it is reaching here see s1 and s2 these s1 and s2 are coming from the same source 
so it will be of of coherent sources these s1 and s2 will be of coherent sources so here also we will be getting crust and trough crust trough then next is crust trough crust trough like this it will be moving from s2 same way from s1 also crust trough crust trough again crust trough like that it will be move on, moving on okay so the wave will be propagating in such a way so while we are observing these rays these um, wave friends secondary wave friends are propagating in such a manner and while we are observing that one we can see crust and crust coming together here also crust and crust coming together crust and crust coming together okay but many places crust and trough also coming together see here crust and trough here crust and trough here crust and trough so many places we can observe that crust and trough are coming together isn't it if crust and trough are coming together and alternately we can see crust and crust are coming together see here crust and crust crust and crust crust and crust like that it is moving so many places crust and troughs are coming together and some places many the, the same way we can see crust and trough are coming together so if crust and crust are coming together what will happen yes if crust and crust are coming together amplitude will be increasing one crust and one trough is coming together what will happen amplitude will decrease one crust and trough if they are of equal amplitude what will happen one crust and same one trough will is coming together it will be one positive plus 5 means minus 5 so together it will be zero so so while it is mixing each other what will happen the one place we will be getting some the bright points okay we will be getting some bright points like this see here crest crest together so like this we can observe bright points and then we can observe dark points like this and bright dark so bright then again dark so like this it will be observing okay so bright and dark fringes we can observe it alternately okay in when two coherent sources are superposing each other what will happen the redistribution of energy light energy is happening light energy is redistributing how the wave which is having wave as uh, some uh, amplitude the intensity is getting increased isn't it than the initial one and some will be reducing to zero so energy is redistribute light energy is redistributing in such a manner so this phenomenon is called as interference interference is the redistribution of energy redistribution of light energy when they are so when the coherent sources are superposing each other okay so that is called a interference it is the redistribution of energy when the coherent sources are in uh, the coherent sources are superposing each other so because of this interference what is what is the result of this interference we are getting alternate bright and dark fringes okay so what we are getting over here we will see it as bright and dark fringes they are alternate alternate bright and dark fringes are observing at the screen okay on the other side we can observe bright and dark fringes this phenomenon is known as interference 
So when, if the crust is coming together, we will be the maximum intensity we are getting. So there what this interference is happening, this is called as constructive interference. So I will write down here, constructive constructive interference and the dark fringes which is observing here it is called as destructive interference okay constructive and destructive interference so constructive means if the crust and crust are coming together we will be getting maximum uh, light that is intensity of light is increasing that is constructive interference if the intensity is decreasing we can say destructive interference okay so clear this is the theory portion of this interference now we are going to find out mathematically what will be the intensity which and all positions we can see this constructive interference fringes and which and all position destructive interference fringes okay next is conditions for constructive and destructive interference constructive and destructive interference destructive interference so conditions for constructive and destructive interference what are the conditions so for that we are considering two coherent sources coherent waves which are having a phase difference of phi okay so here y1 is one way and y2 is the another way the, this is represented by a cos omega t the other one is a cos omega t plus phi so these two waves are having a phase difference of phi but equal frequency and amplitude okay phase differences phi okay that is uh, coherent sources now while superposing each other what will happen y1 plus y2 so we can write it as a is common cos omega t plus this is cos omega t plus cos omega t plus phi this is of the form cos a plus cos b what is cos a plus cos b that is 2 cos a plus b by 2 cos a minus b by 2 isn't it so using that we can write it as a cos a plus cos b that is 2 cos a plus b omega t plus omega t plus phi by 2 cos a minus b by 2 omega t minus omega t minus phi by 2 so omega t and minus omega t will get cancelled you will get it as 2a cos omega 2 omega t by 2 is omega t plus phi by 2 here you will get it as cos of minus phi by 2 cos of minus theta is plus cos theta so you will get it as cos phi by 2 so the final answer you will get it as 2a cos phi by 2 cos omega t plus phi by 2 so what is the amplitude here 2a cos phi by 2 is the amplitude cos omega t plus phi by 2 is the phase term okay so here the amplitude of the in superposed wave is amplitude amplitude of the superposed wave is amplitude of y equals 2a cos phi by 2 that means intensity is proportional to amplitude square intensity is proportional to amplitude square so we can write it as 4a square cos square phi by 2 or we can write it as 4 i0 cos square phi by 2 this is the result of intensity of the wave this is the superposed wave okay 
so here we are considering the intensity constructive and destructive interference conditionally we are checking right so here cos square phi by 2 i0 is the initial wave initial amplitude that one we can't change now so in which and all positions we will be getting the maximum amplitude when cos square phi by 2 is maximum that is when when cos square phi by 2 will be maximum cos phi by 2 is maximum when it is plus 1 isn't it maximum means plus 1 so what will be the phi value phi value will be of 0 2 pi 4 pi like that it will go for these values cos 180 means minus 1 so we can write it as plus or minus plus or minus plus or minus cos 0 is 1 okay so that values we can consider so this will be the phase difference this should be the phase difference to get a constructive interference or we can write it as in general how we can write down the phi value phi will be equal to 2 n pi where n will be equal to 0 1 2 3 etc see first 1 0 while we are giving 5 will be equal to 0 1 we are giving it will be 2 pi and 2 while we are giving 4 pi like that it will go so this is the phase difference for getting a constructive interference for getting a constructive interference phi value will be equal to 2 n pi so what will be the path difference path difference how we can find out path difference x is equal to what will be the path difference lambda by 2 pi into 5 okay this is the path difference formula so lambda by 2 pi into what is phi here 2n pi and 2 pi 2 pi will get cancelled n lambda this is the condition for constructive interference for getting a constructive interference you should consider let's see cos phi by 2 maximum it should be a maximum value so phi value can be 0 plus or minus 2 pi so these two conditions are very important you should keep that in mind properly what are the path difference and phase difference for a constructive interference in the same way we can find out the destructive interference also how we will be finding out the destructive interference when cos square phi by 2 is 0 when cos phi by 2 will be equal to 0 which and all positions we can find out the destructive interference values okay next is for destructive interference that is zero interference zero intensity we should get right so at which point we will be getting zero in the, uh, this intensity that is cos phi by 2 is minimum at which and all positions of phi we will be getting the minimum value the rest of the values for 2 pi we are getting the constructive interference 4 pi we are getting the constructive interference so in between which and all are missing pi is missing 3 pi is missing 5 pi is missing so for all these points we will be getting destructive interference so pi value will be pi plus or minus 3 pi plus or minus 5 pi like that so how we can represent in general at one see n plus half into 2 pi okay so for this reason n is equal to 0 if we are giving we will be getting n is equal to 0 1 2 3 etc like that while we are giving 0 what will happen this will become 0 pi okay 1 while we are giving 1 3 by 2 3 pi okay 5 by 2 5 pi like that we will be getting okay so how we can find out the path difference path difference x will be equal to lambda by 2 pi into 5 n plus half into 2 pi so we will get it as n plus half into lambda this is the formula for finding out the destructive interference so here the path difference x is equal to n plus half into lambda here phase difference is n plus half into 2 pi or we can write it as constructive interference as 2n pi is the 
phase difference and path difference is n lambda. So for these values we will be getting the constructive and destructive interference. Clear how we are obtaining the constructive and inter uh, interference and destructive interference. These conditions are very important. Please keep, the, keep it in mind properly. Okay. So I hope all of you understood all those things and in next video I will be coming with Young's double slit experiment for interference. Okay. So if you like the channel please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.